Roland V Drums TD17 series has become the electronic kit of choice for many drummers with its unbeatable combination of great quality, superior sound and practical kit configurations. Using the same TD17 sound module but taking on a more acoustic drum aesthetic is the VAD307, a club size V Drums acoustic design kit. In this video, we're going to take an in-depth look at the kit layouts and the TD17 sound module so you get an idea of what to expect when you sit behind one of these drum kits for yourself. The TD17 series of V drums has two models, the TD17 KV2 and the TD17 KVX2. Both use the same TD17 sound module but are available in two kit configurations to suit different needs and budgets. We'll take a look at both sets here and show you which pads come with each set. The TD17 KV2 has kick, snare, hi-hats and control pedal, three toms plus crash and ride cymbals. This is essentially a full drum set and will give all drummers what they need for practice and recording sessions and for hours of playing along with favorite tracks. Let's start by taking a look at the snare pad. This is the PDX12 model, which is a 12 inch snare that has head and rim zones. It's possible to play head, rim shot and cross stick sounds with this pad combined with module settings. The design itself has some clever features. First of all, the double ply mesh head is tension adjustable, giving you the control to set the feel and stick rebound that suits your style of playing. Secondly, the height of the rim has been matched to the average hoop height of an acoustic snare drum so that the playing feel and technique is as accurate as possible. The three tom pads are all identical. These are all the PDX8 pads and have an eight inch mesh head playing surface. Like the snare pad, they have head and rim playing surfaces and are also tension adjustable. A nice tip with these pads is that you can set the tension of each head progressively lower so that your first tom is higher, the second tom is mid-tension and the third has lower tension, which follows the feel you would experience as you increase shell diameters on an acoustic drum set. The KD-10 kick pad absorbs most of the impact noise thanks to its carefully engineered rubber components and cushion, but retains that satisfying acoustic kick drum thud when a beater is buried into a full-size head. In addition to keeping the noise down, it can accept both single and double pedals. It's also sturdy and uses Velcro and adjustable spikes to keep it firmly in place as you play. The hi-hats use a CY5 10 inch cymbal which has bow and edge playing surfaces and has edge choke too. The hi-hat expression is controlled by the FD9 control pedal which also reduces the noise and vibration caused when drumming and helps to eliminate noise that could disturb others around you. Crash and Ride use the latest thin V cymbals which flex and swing and feel natural to play. The CY12CT 12 inch crash cymbal has bow and edge playing areas and the cymbal can be choked by grabbing the edge. The CY14RT is a 14 inch ride cymbal that has bow, bell and edge playing surfaces and can also be choked by grabbing the edge. The snare, tom and cymbal pads of the TD17 KV2 all mount to the same drum stand. This is the MDS Compact which uses solid steel tubes and a series of multi adjustable clamps with a high gripping force enabling you to position all the pads exactly where you want them so that your setup can be as individual as you're playing and also stay in place even during the heaviest drumming sessions. The next model of kit in the series is the TD17 KVX2. This kit configuration shares many of the same pads and the same stand as the TD17 KV2 that we've just covered, but has two key differences, the hi-hats and the addition of a second crash cymbal. You'll notice that the TD17 KVX2 uses hi-hats that are mounted to a regular acoustic hi-hat stand. The VH10 model hi-hat is 12 inch in diameter and comes in two parts, the lower sensor element that sits on the seat part of the hi-hat stand and the cymbal top, which has a clutch which grips to the rod of the hi-hat stand. This means that you have up and down motion of the hi-hats which feels more natural to play and the ability to position the hi-hat stand where you find it comfortable for a more familiar layout. The hi-hats themselves have a fine open closed expression control and also has choke facility. Given that the VH10 is 2 inches larger in diameter than the CY5 that comes with the TD17 KV2 and also mounts to a regular hi-hat stand, these are key reasons that many drummers might consider to upgrade to the TD17 KVX2. A second CY12CT 12 inch thin crash is also supplied with the TD17 KBX2 and has the same bow, edge and choke playing, which is another upgrade that's popular with experienced drummers. Note that hi-hat stand, kick pedal and drum throne are not supplied with the TD17 series kits, so you will need those in addition to the kit itself. 
So that's the TD17 series kit. Now let's take a look at the VAD 307 V Drums acoustic design set. The VAD 307 kit is still a full electronic drum set. Don't let the fact that it has wooden shells or has the look of an acoustic drum kit deceive you. It's still quiet and can be played on headphones like any other V drum set without any noise from the acoustic drum shells. You'll notice that the pads here have a deeper shell compared to the pads of a TD17 KVX2 kit for example. That's because the wooden shells provide that acoustic drum set look and actually make a slight change to the resistance and feel under the stick as well. All of the shells that you see here house Roland's V-Drums pad technology inside and the shells are finished in a custom piano black wrap with a gloss finish. The shells also feature Roland's custom designed chrome plated lugs and shell hardware which complete the look. The VAD 307 uses a 12 inch snare pad which fits to a regular acoustic snare drum stand. This is the PDA 120 LSBK and has head and rim sensors to play head, rim shot and cross stick sounds when combined with the module settings. The tom pads are quite similar, the PDA 100 LBK pads are 10 inch in diameter and also feature separate head and rim sensors while the PDA 120 LBK is a 12 inch version of the same pad and is used for the floor tom. All three tom pads have mounting brackets which mount to regular tom holders. The kick drum has an 18 inch diameter and the batter side mounts a kick pad within a mylar drum head and when you play the kick drum you are physically moving air. This provides a satisfying and instantly familiar kick feel under the beta and you can really feel the resistance of the air inside the shell. Damp and front head prevents any unwanted acoustic overtone as you play the kick. The hi-hats are the VH10 model which are 12 inch in diameter and fit to a regular acoustic hi-hat stand. This allows you to position the hi-hat stand where you find it comfortable giving the kit a more familiar layout. The crashes and rides use the latest thin V symbols which flex and swing and feel more natural to play. Two CY12CT 12 inch crash symbols come with the VAD307. These symbols have bow and edge playing areas and the symbol can be choked by grabbing the edge. The CY14RT is used for the ride symbol with the VAD307 kit. This 14 inch ride has bow, bell and edge playing surfaces and can also be grabbed to silence the edge too. You'll notice that all of the cymbals and toms mount to regular acoustic style hardware stands. The double brace stands come directly from the flagship VAD706 kit and feature a high quality chrome finish along with thick tubing and solid locks. The tom and cymbal arms can be height adjusted independently of one another and ball joints on the tom arms and fine cymbal tilters allow full freedom of movement and setup. Mounting all of the pads and cymbals to acoustic style stands gives a really familiar look and playing feel and also means the spread of the pads feel close to playing an acoustic drum set too. It's worth mentioning here that hi-hat stand, snare drum stand, kick pedal and drum throne are not supplied with the VAD307 kit so you will need those in addition to the kit itself. That's all the kit components covered so let's take a closer look at the TD17 module. Before we get stuck into the features, let's just take a quick look at the concept of a Roland V-Drums module. One fixed set of sounds would be pretty limiting for any drummer. If we think about an acoustic drum set, there's a number of things a drummer can do to change up the sounds. Switching drum heads, changing tuning, adding damping, changing the room that the drums are placed in and putting the mic sound through processes to add effects, EQ or compression. If you can do it in the acoustic world, you can also do it virtually inside a V-Drums module and the TD17 is able to handle each of these things. You can also play with wide dynamic range and dramatic tonal changes depending on where and how hard you strike the pad. From rim shots, rolls, flams and ghost notes on the snare to natural hi-hat transitions, dramatic crash hits, sustained cymbal swells and more, every nuance is detailed, accurate and ultra smooth. Fusing samples of acoustic drums recorded in top flight studios with advanced behaviour modelling, these drums respond like acoustic instruments as you play them.
The TD17 sound module includes 2.0 version software and this updated module is standard with the TD17 series V drum set and VAD307. The latest software has a number of upgrades over earlier versions of the TD17 software. There's a choice of 70 preset kits, giving a huge range of musical styles and drum kit types to play with. There are a number of preset audio samples loaded into the module too that are used within the preset kits, but that can also be used in creating your own custom kits. These preset sounds are there to get you playing and inspire you, but every single one can be adjusted and tweaked for your own preference, such as swapping out a snare for a different one or changing the EQ of an instrument. Plus, you can also download additional content for your TD17 from Roland Cloud. The TD17 can store up to 100 kits at any one time, so there's also plenty of space for you to make your own user kits. There are over 300 instruments inside the TD17. Think of it like a warehouse full of great drum kits, snare drums, cymbals and percussion, and you can mix and match any of them to create any kit that you can think of. There's also dedicated controls for ambience, bass and treble on the TD17 sound module, so you can quickly dial in your preferred tone. The module has over 40 effects types that can be assigned to any kit, plus 25 ambient types, pad EQ and now dedicated kit, compression and reverb, all to help you shape and perfect the sound of any preset or any kit that you make. Nailing grooves, rudiments and timing are what makes us better drummers, but no denying that it's a lot of fun to just jam along with your favourite songs. With the TD17, you can push your drumming further by playing along with your favourite bands, including your own. Wirelessly stream music from your smartphone via Bluetooth audio and play along to the entire performance through your headphones. You can use the same function for watching videos on your device and listening to the audio along with the TD17 kit. There's even a dedicated space on the module itself to place your smartphone. TD17 also features a mix-in jack to connect wired devices and you can place your own WAV files and accompanying click tracks onto your SD card and play them directly from the card using the song player function. Listening back to your drumming is one of the best ways to improve. The TD17 module has an onboard recorder that lets you hear and evaluate what you actually played, not what you thought you played. You can record drums by themselves or drums plus audio played from Bluetooth or from SD card playback. And you can even export a stereo bounce of your recording to SD card. This is a really quick and easy way to record a stereo drum track along with a song idea sent to you by a friend or a bandmate and then share it back with them for a quick demo mix. You can also use the USB connection to connect the TD17 to a computer to record stereo audio over USB or MIDI direct to your DAW. This makes recording tracks or capturing audio for video performance really simple and easy. Every drummer needs to be able to keep a solid beat before moving on to the exciting stuff. Mastering the basics can be exciting too as it builds a solid foundation for growing as a musician. The TD17 module includes a coach mode to sharpen your skills with daily practice tools complete with progress tracking that motivates you to improve. There are a range of coach tools within the TD17 series V-Drums, a dedicated click tool and metronome, time check, quiet count and warm ups, each designed to develop your sense of groove, tempo and timing and even work on your stamina. Roland have also teamed up with Melodix to give every V-Drums user even more ways to play along with tracks and develop their drumming in a fun and interactive way. Melodix for V-Drums is a free application for Mac and Windows which features a set of drum lessons to develop your sense of rhythm, timing and muscle memory. These lessons are taught through songs, so you're learning new skills but enjoying learning and playing through a song at the same time. V-Drums users can access 40 free lessons from Melodix by signing up, but you can subscribe for more lesson content too. So that's an overview of the TD17 series V-Drums and the VAD307 V-Drums Acoustic Design Kit. Thanks for checking out the video. If you've enjoyed it and it's helped you to get an idea of what these kits can do, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the Roland channel.